Good evening. I'm Karen Weaver, and I am the mayor of the great city of Flint, Michigan. Flint is a community of 100,000 strong, hardworking people living in the birthplace of General Motors and the place where the great sit-down strike led to the creation of the United Auto Workers. Flint is also a city in crisis. Five years ago, our Republican state government used a Michigan law to take over control of the city. In 2014, the state switched our water source to a polluted river to save a handful of dollars, causing lead contamination to leach into our drinking water, poisoning, poisoning a whole community and leading to health impacts that may haunt our children for generations. The problems in Flint are not over. The water is still not safe to drink or cook with from the tap. Our infrastructure is broken, leaking, and rusting away. Our local economy struggles to rebound, and there are many more Flints across the country where environmental issues are hurting our kids and families. Today, the help we need from our federal government to start rebuilding our drinking water infrastructure still sits blocked in the Republican-controlled U.S. Congress. I am a voice for Flint, and we need your help. Do you know who has also heard the call from Flint? Hillary Clinton. She came to Flint when the water crisis hit. She joined with our community groups, our civic leaders, and our churches. Hillary said, I will do everything I can to help you get back up and to help you get your strength and resilience flowing through Flint again. With direct help from Hillary Clinton's team, the Flint Water Works program is now putting the young adults of Flint into new jobs and rebuilding their own community. Hillary's wonderful daughter, Chelsea, even came to Flint to bring people together to start this work and to create new opportunities for our families. A month later, Hillary Clinton came back to Flint again and called out to say that lead poisoning, broken infrastructure, and struggling cities are a national crisis, not just a Flint crisis. She made a commitment that as president, she will work for a lead-free America. And that's why I'm with her. So join with Flint to get behind Hillary Clinton, to raise our voices for Hillary Clinton, and to make her the next president of the United States. God bless Flint and God bless America.